Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Um, not long time ago, uh, our sister Fifi, she made a response. And in the response, he threat, he said, you will not dare to say that to me face to face. Why you don't say what you would do to me if I am face to face to you? Be a man. At least say what you, what you would do, what you would do. Tell me, tell me. Tell me. Nobody will know. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, Farid, poor guy, desperate. He decided to, you know, like to refute uh, Salibi Prince. You know, uh, he will, uh, Salibi Prince, I will, you know, I will refer to him and I will debate him and I will, ref you know, refute him and uh, I will put a picture there for him. And, uh, you know, he is the gun, you know, and he got a surprise for a Christian prince. It is a, a filthy slob Christian prince, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a Libby. <laughs> what happened? What happened? As an Arab Christian, we use the word Zawaj. You, as a Muslim, you use Nikah, the F word. So Muhammad, he legalized it and he using the F word instead of the word marriage because there is no marriage in Islam notice here in my screen it doesn't show it says line number four no marriage in Islam no there is marriage in Islam you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> what kind of marriage you say to a woman by text message you are fired is that a marriage obviously it's not it's a contract. It's a contract of employment. Isn't it you Muslims, you approve even text messages to divorce? I mean, what kind of marriage this marriage is? Continue. But be careful. He have a surprise for us. Yeah. There's no there's no marriage in Islam. You don't use the word marriage, you say the F word. You, as a Muslim, you use nikah, the F word. Do you uh -huh. see where it says here? Yes, thank you. It's I-N-G. to. Line number five, chapter 33, verse number 50 is talking about sex, not marriage. F her. Yes, thank you. So he is going to F her non-stop. Excuse my language. Vileness, idiocy, you know, the usual stuff. Embarrassing for Christians, to be honest. Um, Christians, don't you find it embarrassing that this guy is representing you? Very. I cringe while listening to his videos out of embarrassment for you. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I would like you folks to become aware of a little something that I'm not sure you've noticed. You did not notice. Only Vivi can see it. Nobody can see those things. Vivi. Vivi. He sniff it. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's you who's saying and the funny the idiot he keep bringing that picture i mean this uh, this uh, image here it says in the front of us on the screen this is your muslim website the word nikah literally means sexual intercourse i mean skip it skip it for the sake of this, this are you stupid or what i mean you want to prove that the word nikah is not the f word and what do you do you keep coming to this page and what this page is saying, guys, what this page is saying, this is, the, this is his Muslim website. I mean, look how stupid he is. He's trying to prove to everybody that the guy is lying. But he is showing us, he keep going back to the same part of the video where it says the Islamic term. Let us make it red because this is very red. I mean, do you see how stupid you are? At least it changed it, man. Put the picture of the guy, you're like, don't you put this picture, suppose this is me, put it there. <laughs> it's a leave, <laughs> The Islamic term of marriage, nikah, did you, did, you, did you see it? The Islamic term of marriage, nikah, literally means sexual intercourse. So you idiot, you keep coming back, coming back. You go around like a, like a, you know, like a, a cat chasing her tail, and you go back to the same page. And in the front of you, it says, "Islamic term of marriage nikah literally means sexual intercourse." 
and supposedly the whole video is to refute me that I am lying. I mean, guys, do you see how, how smart this guy is? The point of this video is to refute me that I'm lying. <laughs> Let me open the website we were reading from. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh boy. Here we go. Read carefully. Alislam.org. Alislam.org. Nikah literally means sexual intercourse. And this guy is trying to refute me that I am lying. And he keep putting the same thing again in the smart, in the, in the, in the screen. You are a genius. And guess what? He have a surprise for you Christians. By the way, after we finish this short video, because he's not, he's just a kid, you know, I will show you in it. Every Muslim will start laughing at him in two seconds. Even Muslims will see how small, how stupid he is. So after this, we will finish it. So you guys can download it short, easy. It's not worth it. And actually, you know, we want the Muslims to make videos for us. So we have more Muslims come here, you know, you notice we are slow, we are not having enough calls. Like we have Muslim Empire here. He was a hero before I go in the chat. And now I don't know if he would dare to call me. But he said he will call me. He will ask me a question about the Bible. One question, you know, question about the Bible and the Quran. I said, fine. Let us see if Muslim, he will call me. Now let us continue the video. So we laugh and we finish this one. And you will see the second broadcast is, is already listed. So we will go live again. And anyone would like to join us, feel free. So let us go back to the video. So the Muslim website, not me, giving definition for the word nikah, saying that this word means literally sexual intercourse, literally the F word. You see, sexual intercourse, you know, we, in Iraq, we don't see sexual intercourse. You know, the F word, it's the F word. So this is what the Muslim website saying. And then this guy wanna prove me wrong and he keep bringing the same page. Skip the video, man. At least so people will not laugh at you but now there is something very sad he have a surprise very bad surprise for the christians that there's no there's no marriage in islam you don't use the word marriage you say the f word we as an arab christian we use the word zawaj you as a muslim you use nikah the f word now, the reason why this is such an interesting clip is because this ignoramus doesn't know that the term nikah is used by all Arabs, Christians, and Muslims. It's, a, it's horrible. Christian Prince Salibi, he do not know that uh, you know the word nikah is used by christians and muslims really we do okay how brothers and sisters are you ready you will not believe it fifi he cornered us here is an image from an Arabic translation of the Bible, Matthew 5. Let's check it out in... Hold on, I wanna repeat this one again. This is an image of what? Say, say again. Of the Bible, Matthew 5. No, 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 well, again, again. Let's check that is used by all Arabs, Christians and Muslims. Here is an image from an Arabic translation of the Bible, Matthew 5. Let's check it out in the... Let us check it out. Yes, we will check it out and everybody will die laughing at you, you idiot. English. 
Jesus is saying anyone who married Yankah, a divorced woman commits adultery. Now, Salibi Prince, does this mean that Jesus is saying that sex with divorced women is adultery? <laughs> Salibi Prince, Abdul Potato, I will make everybody in the internet laugh at you until the judgment day. You potato dummy. You went to a photo editing page in Facebook and you copy this. You idiot donkey. This is edit page in Facebook. This is where he got his image from. This idiot, this is why he says, I will show you an image. Stupid. You know what? If you have little intelligence, you will not use such an image. This is the same image you used here. This is Facebook. Hmm? This is Arab Facebook, made by a bunch of flyers like you. And this is your page. You got the same image because you are a potato and you are a kid. I mean, shouldn't you go, you, you idiot? Look, either you know that this is just an image and we cannot find it in the Bible, or you are just a kid, not even worth to talk about you anymore. And you do not know. And you trusted the Muslims, so you said, oh, I, we found it. Here it says in the page, this is found in the translation of the Van Dyck translation. Van Dyck. And look at the stupid who, the one who posted. He said, this is exist in Matthew 9.19. <laughs> Is where he got the image from and here it says Matthew 5 and this is verse number 33 now let us go to the Van Dyck and everybody will be dying laughing at you this is the website of the Van Dyck translation there's many translation I mean you know actually for me all those translation is just a translation we should not you know take any translation which is not 100% accurate to be fine. But even here, it doesn't say what this liar is saying. He says in Matthew chapter 5, this is chapter 5. All right, verse number 33. I have the link, by the way, in the info for those who like to read it. And here we go. This is the verse 33, all of it. Now, I challenge Fifi, Sister Fifi, to show us the Van Dyck translation where he got the image from. Can you? This is the Van Dyck in the front of us. And I have the link in the front of everyone, down in the info in the page. Where it says, let us go back, hold on. All right. وَمَنْ يَتَزَوَّجَ مِنْ مُطَلَّقَ فَإِنَّهُ يَزْنِي فَإِنَّهُ يَزْنِي Where is the word يَنْكَحْ? This is the verse number 33. Where is the verse he's talking about? Yankah. Do you see the word Yetazawaj? So, what uh, the poor Fifi did, somebody, he sent him an image from Facebook. And he told him, oh, this is exist in there, but maybe, maybe he do not know that this is a Photoshop editing. It's a fraud like him like he's a prophet so what the poor guy he do he copy exactly the same page the same shot that's why he said this is an image well if it's an image open the bible and show us where it is i mean is, didn't you take an image if you took an image then the image is there What a shame. What a shame. 
so you do photo photo editing here we go let me copy the link any one of you you can go and open this link and you will see this potato he is just a dummy he went he is desperate and you know look we showed them we showed them that the prophet wife she said that he, when the prophet he flirted with me my husband penis as well and I told him, why you don't make a cartoon or as long as you are good in a cartoon, make an image about it, put an image there. He said, do you dare to say that to me in front of my face? What do you would do what you would do? I would like you to say what you would do. You don't dare even to say, because you would do nothing. So if we open chapter five and we go to verse, which is talking about marrying a di or about divorce here we go where we will find the word yankahaha where here in the corner it says yatazawwaj mutallaqa fa innahu yazni so this is a fabrication aren't you ashamed and if we go to the fatwa, the book of the fatwas, this is the fatwa. Fatwa number, I will post the link. Let me make it short link. Fatwa number 3201. What? This is the website called Nidaul Iman. Aliman.com. Let us show you. This is a very, very Islamic website. Hmm? Aliman. Do you see that? The, you know? Okay. And now we go down. And those are your sheikhs. They are Sunni. They are not Shia. And now they are asking, is the one who do nikah to his hand, to his hand, is he cursed? Do nikah to your hand. Have you ever heard of somebody getting married to his hand? Have you ever heard of somebody ever doing nikah to his hand, that making him marry in his hand? If the word nikah mean marriage, that's mean how you can marry your hand. Obviously, they are talking about masturbation. He's making a hole in his hand. <laughs> I don't want to go more in details. So this is the fatwa in the front of you. I will open it first. Let me let me make a short link for everyone. I go and get short link. So. All right. I mean, how many people will laugh at you now? Fifi, copy in it from Facebook. This is and this is telling you actually how far the Muslims they can go because they are desperate in their deception just to prove us wrong. They fabricate even Photoshop editing page in the Bible. So this is the website. Any of you can open it. I made a short link for it. All right. And now what we will do, we will use Google Translation, peace be upon him. Anyone who speaks Arabic for sure, he knew that I'm not making things up. It's in the front of our eyes. okay we have to open it with the google browser because you cannot do translation in any other browser click at translation translate to english and then again remember to find it you go to where it says in english three two zero one this is the number of the fatwa all right translate to english
the hand shaking curse <laughs> <laughs> Translation of Google is fantastic. <laughs> the word nikah became handshaking for the private part. So if the word nikah, my friend, is marriage, look, the translation of Google, is hand marriage among the seven mentioned in the hadith? <laughs> The word nikah in Google because it's just a stupid software. Muslim they keep saying it's me marriage, me marriage. Okay, so it's marriage. So now hand marriage is hand marriage considered as uh, uh, of the curse of, of the ruling of cursing, which means God He cursed the one who do that. Hand marriage. Fifi, did you marry your hand? I hope not. And you want to debate me? Photoshop proves a reference from Facebook. We show you books, we show you pages. We show you, this is why he said, Matthew 5, he did not even say where, because, you know, people will go and check out and people will laugh. This guy is just making a show for the Muslims, so Muslims will, you know, they will support him, whatever he's saying. I mean, he is against the Christians, so yeah, whatever he's saying, even if it's stupid, dummy, whatever, you know, say whatever you want and blah, 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 blah. This is the best you got. Anyway, so we went, we want, you know, we want Muslims to come here, listen to us, and you can go and listen to those people, those kids. And you will notice right away that Muslims who they are teaching you, I'm talking to the Muslims now, those who claim that they have knowledge for you, they are liars. Otherwise, they will not fabricate. You know, the, the term or the word yankah, we don't ever use it for a Christian society or community or even in books. We don't. Go to any, you see, I am in Paltok. I have a name in Paltok. Go to any Muslim chat room and say, I want to do nikah. They will bounce you right away out of the chat room and they will curse you because simply you are saying you want to do the F thing. This is why here it says, Hal nakihul yadi mal'oon is the one who do nikah to his hand is cursed. So what happened? The word nikah mean marriage. Just we add the word hand after it became something else. That is funny, isn't it? Anyway, so uh, I mean, you know, they are a bunch of kids, and it's okay. We understand. At the end of the, day, of the day, this is all for our benefit. So Muslims will see that this is, you know, they are just making up stories. Like, you know, Fifi himself, look, you see, he ignore everything I said. You know, he make short video, five minute, you know, saying, okay, so he got surprised for me, uh, you know, in the Bible, uh, in the translation, in the Bible, we have, uh, we have the same word. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And look himself, he himself, he said, Matthew 5, he did not even say where. And he said an image. Why it's an image? Because we cannot find the book, don't we? Is that right? Can you find the book? I mean, you took an image before the, somebody take it down? Maybe this is the book of the Christians who they are hiding. Hmm? Translation of the Bible, Matthew 5. Matthew 5. You see when somebody is lying, look how his voice go down there. Matthew 5, you know, 5. Matthew 5. 5 what? Where? Where, where? Anyway, we are done with this kid. 
and uh, we want more Abdul to be you know brave uh, but be honest my friend if you have a religion if your religion really teaching you to be a, a good person then what why are those people doing this what is that you tell me you see we are not saying that we as a Christians we are the best of mankind but Islam says the Muslims are the best of mankind so in order to refute us to be wrong you fabricate Photoshop images. Isn't it? This is a shame. This is the Bible of the Vandic, and this is a translation anyway. In you know, all translation, you know, I don't agree with me, with them, but even what he is saying is not true. It's not, it's not there. We don't use that such a term. We never, never, never. So I think what this kid he did. One of the Muslim kids, he sent him this. This kid, because he's a dummy, he took it for a granted. But I think in the same time, because his voice was so down, he said, tap to Matthew 5. And he, like, he didn't say five what, he didn't say where, he didn't say, well, you know, he did not open a book to show you, you know, what happened to the book guy who saw, uh, show us books. So he went to Facebook and copy this exactly the same page and this is the Muslim fabrication they made to refute us about the word nikah again so the, they are trying to fight to fight the Arab Christians who they are laughing at the at the savagery of this man who claimed to be a prophet of God and instead of using the word marriage he used the word the F word and this is why here it says that the one who do nikah to his hand is cursed or not. This is the question of the fatwa. Fatwa, it's a holy answer according to the holiness of his majesty Muhammad and his God. So is the one who do nikah to his hand is cursed? So now what if, if you will say nikah to the hand is marriage too? Yes, it's marriage. Don't you marry her? Your hand? It's marriage. I mean, what you can say, that's it. They decided. And in the top of that, the Muslim website themselves, they are saying to us, not me, that the word nikah is, read carefully, this is, this is alislam.org, Islamic website. I have nothing to do with it. I am not the one who wrote this. And we are not giving you Photoshop, like Fifi. It says here, the Islamic term of marriage, nikah, literally means sexual intercourse. And here you can click at number five, so you'll find the reference. This is why a Muslim man, if he marry a woman and he did not do nikah, which means he practiced a sexual intercourse, he do not need to pay anything to her. Nothing. Because nikah did not happen yet. What happened is marriage. So look at all the reference we show and look at their childish behavior. Come on. We will be live again in a few minutes from now. We will finish with this one. It's not worth it. But again, we want the Muslims. The, the more Muslims they speak against us, the more people we receive here and the more they leave Islam. And as you see, by the Lord, we are victorious. By their lies, they are exposed. If a person he is a decent following a good prophet why he posts photoshop editing image to prove something a good person will not do that why the muslim website that says the one who do nikah to his hand is cursed if the word nikah mean marriage nobody marry his hand 
Why the Muslim website alislam.org in front of our eyes saying that the term of marriage nikah, the term of marriage. Do you see it? The term of marriage. Nikah. Literally means the guy in the previous video, he says originally, originally. It says in the front of you, means, you see the means? It not it used to mean. Means. Means sexual intercourse. So we will finish this one so you guys can download it. And don't forget, please, to download the previous videos. As you know, I don't keep my videos for long in my page. And uh, uh, we have a Muslim. He said he want to call me. His name is Muslim Papaya, Bambaya. I don't know what his name. He said he want to call. I hope he will do it there to call. He said he want to ask me questions. And he will not talk about both the Bible and the, uh, and the Quran. I said to him, fine. So I hope he will call us and we will have a good time. So join us. We will be live on air again. And actually our topic will be if Allah is not a spirit. If Allah is not, is, is not a spirit because the Muslim believe that Allah is not a spirit. So what is Allah? Can the Muslim tell us? They don't. So join us. I will take just five or ten minute break. Make some tea and we will be back live on air again. Thank you very much. And may the Lord bless you. We are always victorious and they can fabricate, they can speak against us as they wish, but always the truth will show and the truth will set you free. We pray for the Muslims and please be careful. You see, those people, they don't present normal Muslims. They don't. I know many Muslims who they are good people, they are wonderful people, etc. Those are fraud people. Their hate is a blind in them. So there is a huge difference between those who make it, you know, like, uh, if, if or, you know, they claim to be religious, right? But you notice right away, a religious, I mean, somebody growing a beard and claim to be religious. Like if you ask Fifi, okay, Mimi Hijab, he says, Allah don't have parts. You made video saying Allah have part, have part. So do you have two kind of Allah? How come Mimi have, he said to David Wood, uh, Allah have body part. Who said so? Who said so? And then in your video, you say that Allah have hands. And you are debating, you are debating about it. Not only you say, I believe in it. You are trying to prove to other Muslim that this is what is true. You are debating Shia. The one who posted your video is a Shia. So how come you have two guys, two, two guys, I mean, two, two of you, you are friends. How come two Muslim friends, they support each other, they live in the same town, and they are against the Christian prince? And yet, one of them, he says, who said so, Allah have body part? And the other one, he says, yes, Allah have hands. But he don't dare to make a video for Mimi Hijab saying to him, shame on you, this is Allah, yes, he have hands. He don't dare, he's just so little in the front of Mimi. Those are the, you know, the, 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 the you know, the, you know, little kids around him. When they play the video of the girl, she is saying, I said to her, suckle me. The girl, she was saying, Jesus suckled his mother's breast. I said, no, it's in fact, it's you, prophet, who said do that. Sorry, she said, Jesus, he was playing with his mother's breast. <laughs> Actually, he did more. That's what she said. And the coward, this coward, and Mimi Hijab, they sit in the in together. And brother, did you see sexual predator? No dignity. Your dignity is in the in the sewage long time ago. Liars. You see, there is a huge difference between somebody. Okay, all of us we are sinners. Nobody claimed to be the perfect person. Nobody claimed to be the good person. Only God is good. But when somebody he made, uh, uh, you know, he knew his line. I mean, from the whole video, you cut that part, and you put that part in the screen, and you made a drama about it. Any Christian prince is saying this to a Muslim woman. What he said to her? He said to her, suckle me. And then uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he promised that he would debate me. We call him. Where is the debate? He played a little video. Cut it off. Hang up on me. Didn't you promise people to debate? And you know, if this Fifi is an honest person, 
how he will accept even to appear with Mimi playing that video about the woman she is insulting Jesus. How he accept? Where is your decency? This is the video. It's in the internet. It's all over. Those dummies, they thought we don't have the video. created the black stone? Who created the... The video stopped. Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create the stones. He created the whole world. But you must kiss. No, you must have kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus. Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs. You must be okay. You, see, you see, guys. You see, guys. You see, guys. You see how you see how savage they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Look what she not said. Like you. Okay, okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played that with his mother. Show, his show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that I'm Jesus he played. Listen, God. listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? So this is what they cut from the video. Can I suckle you? <laughs> they don't care that a Muslim girl saying filthy thing about Jesus. They claim that they defend Jesus. They claim that they believe in Jesus as a prophet. This woman, who they make her a victim, supposedly, and they say sexual predator, and she is saying that Jesus was sexually doing something to his mother. And they cut this video, and they cut the part, suckle me. This is what you have. So if Fifi have little dignity, he will not appear with Mimi cut in this video and make it a scandal when it is the opposite and now everybody is laughing at you you wanted to show people what how this guy he talk suckle me i was quoting your prophet it's your prophet who says suckle him uh, ali is saying continue the video he show a book no he is not showing a book my friend he show a picture suppose this is me <laughs> He show a book. We show the book. We saw it, Abdul. Potato. We saw the book. We saw it. Here we go. This is the book. This is the only book he 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 show. And the rest he he show when a picture supposed. Oh, you want to see? Uh, you want to see supposed the picture he show? <laughs> this is the book in front of you. Do you see it? Which is not exist. For this is the true book in front of us. And the word here, يتزوج مطلقة فإنه يزني. And this is the Van Dyck translation. And your brother got busted. Upside down. Who dare? Who dare? from those dummies you see i respect the women who was talking to me like the one in the video not the last the last one you know the filthy women there's other women i respect her way more than those people because she is a woman yet she dare to call and discuss with me but look at those guys they have a beard they claim to have you know they have knowledge they speak arabic and yet they don't dare to call me they still want to debate you face to face No, no, no. We will stop this uh, 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 live so people can download it. And we will go back live on air because Muslims, they promise they will call us and we will have some discussion about Islam. And, you know, they, some of them, they say they have, a, they have something, something about Christianity. So let us see what they have. So we will be back. Give us a, a 10 minutes from now. 
and we hope we will have some good Muslims willing to call us. Obviously, those are the trashy ones. They don't present the Muslims community. You know, I know many Muslim nice people. You see, when we talk about Muslims in here in the conversation, usually we are talking about those people. And as you see, they are willing to frame you, lie about you, smear you, bully you. Like, you know, they start talking about the wife of uh, Abdullah Samir, who is an atheist, not a Christian. The wife of apostate prophet. Uh, uh, the wife of David Wood. I mean, what kind of people they are. The white wife of Abdullah Samir. The white wife, this is what they say. I mean, you know, uh, good people, they will not speak in such a way. So when we we speak about Islam, we say Muhammad, he ordered Muslim women to give themselves. That's what the Quran is saying. Any Muslim woman, she gave herself to the Prophet. It's not me saying that. When we say that uh, Zainab, she said, after the Prophet, he flirted with me, anyone, sorry, her husband, when he tried to get close to her, to have sex with her, Allah, he made his penis as well. Well, if this is a filthy, well, this is in your book. Why you get angry from me? This is what your book is saying. This is what your book is saying. What I shall do. And yes, the second you quote Muhammad, you are speaking bad language. You will be ashamed to talk about it anywhere. Right? Yeah, actually, this guy he said the one in the in the in the chat he said he showed a different book. What did that book have to do with me? He's showing me that the word book. Look, look. Even even the page he is showing this book is saying that aqdun uh, nikah between two bracket as zawaj. <laughs> this is his cho is a choice. <laughs> this is his choice. He says that there is a book written by somebody saying that aqdun nikah. This is the Christian supposedly. They have aqdun nikah. <laughs> what a dummy you are what a dummy trash you are yeah anyway so here we go we have the reference in front of us it says the one who do nikah to his hand and this is google translation saying the one who do marriage to his hand and this is your uh Islamic website saying it clearly that the term nikah mean literally what do you want more than Muslims scholars witnessing the term of marriage nikah literally means sexual intercourse this is not a Christians talking and we Christian we don't use nikah that's a false statement and if you want to say to me somebody wrote a book saying this is a Christian book somebody talking about marriage I can make a book too and I can use whatever. Maybe he want to say it to the Muslims. But when you say in the Bible, it says the word nukah, you are, you, are, you are a liar. No Christian ever used the word nikah. Never. We don't. It's an insult. And Muslims themselves, they don't use the word nikah. And the proof is you can go right now and go to any Islamic chat room in Palto and say in text, I want to do nikah. Any girl here? You will see what will happen to you. If the word nikah mean marriage, Muslims should not be upset. Is that correct, guys? If the word nikah mean marriage, then why they will be upset? You see those coward themselves, Mimi and Fifi. When I say to him, Muta, sons of Muta, they get upset. Well, isn't it Muta supposed to is marriage? Why you get upset? What's wrong with you? I thought muta mean marriage. They get upset because it's not. It is nikahul muta. <laughs> you see, you see the hypocrisy. Nikahul muta is 
marriage or not, they get upset if you say to them, sons of mutas, because if marriage, if the muta is marriage, I am saying to you then, sons of marriage. So why you're upset? Well, I am son of marriage too. You see the hypocrisy? When you say to them, sons of muta, what does that mean? Sons of nikahul muta. Okay. So why you're upset if the word nikah mean marriage? Why you did why you did this say to me? You don't, you don't dare to say that to, to me in front of your face. What's wrong? So if I say to you, you are son of marriage, I, 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 should, I don't dare to say that to you in your face. Ah, because son of nikah al muta is not son of marriage. A son of prostitution. This is why you are angry about it. Anyway, we gave them too much time. They are not worth it. And we hope that they will have the courage one day to call us. Uh, we will be live again on air. Just give me a few minutes to make some tea and we will be back. All right. If the admin can post the link for the coming uh, broadcast, uh, please. So you people, you can join us. We have almost 900 people here. <coughs> My throat is dry, so I will make some tea, you know, that will make it better. And actually, I was saying I will go here just for 15 minutes. You know, this is just little Fifi, but you know, anyway. Yeah. So anyway, we will be back. Just give me five, 10 minutes. We will be back. And I hope we will have some Muslims to call us and we will have some nice, good argument with real Muslims, not those kids, people who speak like men people who they discuss honestly otherwise when you speak to someone is not honest there's no point of any discussion because debating a liar is impossible same as debating a kid and this is what happened when usually christian debate those who they claim to be muslims they claim they are not muslims you see a member of isis is way more decent than those people because he will say th th you know, things to you as it is. Yes, this is what it says. They have the courage to say it. Those are afraid to say the truth. And if there is a Muslim, he is honest. The Muslim, they will accuse him to be a false Muslim. If you go right now and search, is ISIS present Islam? They will see millions of articles written by Muslims saying ISIS is not Islam. Look what happened. Because they gave the true image of Islam. And that is hurting. So suddenly, those who follow the Prophet of Allah, step by step, word by word, letter by letter, they are not true Muslims. But this is only in blogs, and articles but in reality in the mosque all of them they agree with them unless you are a person who have a benefit from a government who ISIS are against very simple you know if the Muslim they have a chance they will say even Muhammad himself is not a Muslim like when Muhammad he said if you know like they speak about what what the american they did to the, uh, the american indian what the Amer what the muslim did to the christians the, the egypt is not your land iraq is not your land turkey is not your land syria is not your land lebanon is not your land jordan is not your land egypt is not, morocco is not your land tunisia is not your land which what which which country is your land they stole it so they give you a lecture about you know, we went to Spain. We built, did you know what we built in Spain? Not a single building in Spain is made by Muslims. This is all the Christians, specifically the Aramaic Christians. They, they are the one who made the ship for them even to attack Spain. They forced them as slaves. They are the one who built mosques for them. Arab, go and read Ibn Kathir, the introduction of Ibn Kathir. He will say the Arab are a savage nation it, they are willing to burn a library to cook and the palace they will burn a library they will take a roof of a, of a palace just to use the wood for cooking
And still, we, we know we don't judge Islam by a behavior of people because people are people. Ideas is something people are different. I might be a Christian, but I do bad things. You cannot say that Christ is bad because of me. But can I say Muhammad is a bad person? Absolutely. So when we compare, we are not comparing between this person and this person. We are comparing about the foundation. The foundation of Islam is Muhammad. Muhammad, he go to his own son, wife. He flirt with her in their book. Then the wife, obviously, she is doing a conspiracy business with him to get rid of the husband. She claimed a miracle, scientific miracle, that each time the husband, after that day, try to have sex with her, Allah made his penis swell. In their book. Muhammad even he forbid adoption just for in order to get that woman in the bed. Adoption, which is very noble thing to do, and the Arab used to do it, and Muhammad himself, because he could not have kids, he adopt to make his wife happy. He cannot have kids. The guy is an impotent man. And the Quran says clearly Muhammad was not the father of any of your men. Anyway, let us make the, the, uh, the tea and we will be back. Give me just uh, five, ten minutes and we will be back with you soon. Thank you very much for being here. Download this video as soon as we finish. By tomorrow, we will take most of the videos down as usual. And uh, please subscribe to those who download the videos and post them in their link, in, in their in their page pages. Uh, support them. Uh, you know, they deserve your support because the, they are the one who is doing the work you are not doing. They are the one who download the video put it in their channel and if you see a channel is small support it too because those they need more support than the one who have a bigger one you know support everybody I mean what you will lose so always you can find usually people what they do they uh, they search for the same title I mean you can search for the same title right now and you will find it but I advise you actually to change the title a little bit so not all of your pages will appear in one place if all of you keep the same title then the video will appear in one place in, in YouTube when somebody search about a topic. So try to change the topic based on what we spoke about. Make, make your own title, fit with the topic is inside the video, and you can get more people to watch. Thank you very much, and we will be back again in a few minutes from now. God bless you, and see you soon again. Take care. 10 minutes. We will be back.